Hey everybody, what's up? It's Bruce. I have some exciting news. Uh, in a couple months, actually in April, I'm going to go on a bike ride with uh, Katie Kukubura, Ash Beach, and a bunch of other people in Mallorca. The, I'll put a, um, a link to that video uh, invitation in the description below. But it's going to be pretty, pretty awesome, I think. So I'm really looking forward to it. Of course, I'll bring some cameras. I'll make some videos, at least one video. <laughs> but um, with that, I have a choice to make. I have to decide what bike I want to bring. I already, I already booked it with the airline, so I'm going to bring a bike, but I have to decide now what bike I want to bring. I have two choices. Let me show you. So these are my two road bikes. Uh, you probably remember this one because it was my latest video. It's my mountain bike to road bike build. Then the other option is my first road bike I've ever had, the Pinarello. And I did a little review video on that too a couple videos back. So you can check that out if you want all the details of the Pinarello. Now here's the differences and here's how I, you know, here's the situation where I have to think about when I make the choice. The Pinarello is, number one, it's lighter. It's around 9 kilograms, whereas the Giant is closer to 10. I think it was like 9.8 or something like that. I don't really remember, but it, it was, if I remember right, it was nearly 10, whereas this one is about 9. So it's about a kilogram lighter. That's going to be pretty nice on a, uh, a ride that's probably a lot of, of hills and mountains and whatever. Uh, but that's the only one difference. There's more too. And I was surprised by this because I've never sat these two bikes side by side. I've rode this one a lot, a lot, you know, 100 kilometer rides. I think I've done 100k on that one before. This one I haven't done so far, but both of them felt pretty comfortable as I have them set up, as I adjusted the handlebars, as I adjusted the seat and whatnot, it feels pretty, both of them felt pretty comfortable, really, and I felt like I could ride a pretty good distance on both of them. So when I just set them side by side today, I was surprised by their difference. So right now I have them set up with the, um, the drops almost even to each other, so I figured that would be like a good, fair kind of comparison for the rest of the, of the geometry of the bike. And what I found is, first of all, the seat on the Giant is, it's hard to tell with the camera maybe, but it's, let me see if I can get high enough, it's at least an inch or two inches further back than the Pinarello. So I must be more stretched out on the Giant than I am the Pinarello, and I think I kind of felt that because I feel like the Pinarello was a little bit more comfortable, and this one is actually a little bit less comfortable. The height is about the same of the handlebars, and the position of the drops are close to the same. But the big difference is, and the seat's about the same height too, close, but the big difference I see is the seat here is quite a bit further back. So the geometry is quite different. And here's the biggest thing that you notice. So look at the front tires. I have them pretty much lined up now, very close. But then come to the back of the bikes. The mountain bike is massively longer than the road bike. That I was shocked about. I mean, it is a lot longer. It's a much longer bike. And you can kind of see that in the gap between the uh, frame and the wheel. You can see here there's a huge gap. And that's actually a problem with the Pinarello. The biggest I can fit is 23C tires on here due to that, um, that small space. The geometry of these two frames are massively different. I think they're both okay, but I'll tell you the truth, I felt more comfortable and even faster on the Pinarello. So I'm thinking I might, I'm kind of leaning towards that I want to bring that. Whatever bike out of the two I bring, I'm going to need to do a little bit of preparation for it and some work, let's say. The Pinarello, I talked about how much I liked my single one by system. But in reality, I think I want to go at least with a 2 by so I would want to set that up before uh, the trip. That, that's kind of the big thing with the Pinarello. Otherwise, I think it's fine. Stepping back to the Giant, with that I need to fix the shifting issue, although it's not that bad. Um, what else? And I would want to change the tires, because it's, maybe it'll be hard to tell with the camera, but they are dry rotted. They are, yeah, there we go. They are dry rotted, so I don't know if I want to be going 60 plus kilometers an hour down a mountain on dry rotted old tires. So if anybody has any ideas or suggestions on which bike would be better for this trip, please do let me know down in the comments. And uh, I think that's it for this video. 
Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, one last thing. Check out this bike I found on the garbage pile with a bunch of pipes and other scrap metal. Don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it was too nice to uh, leave there, so I guess you can probably expect to see this bike in an upcoming video.